news time! Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. my name is Mike and welcome to our weekly news update. This week we had some bombshells on the market, things are happening, also the new LEGO Ninjago movie sets are coming for the Wave 2 and we are doing our first giveaway. So for details on that stick around to the end of the episode and before all that happens we're gonna jump right now into the Amazon deals. If you are interested in all those Amazon deals you can find the links below, each one of them will lead you to the set that's currently on sale. This week we have a good deal on the playset of the Millennium Falcon from Force Awakens line and also some sales on Minecraft sets and the city square. And starting off with I think the biggest story of this week, if not exactly LEGO related, this is a huge thing for the toy industry, Toys R Us has filed a chapter 11 bankruptcy. This type of bankruptcy allows the company to reorganize itself and I think Toys R Us is just planning to well keep afloat on the market and maybe restructurize its assets. It is not a surprise to the market actually because the company was struggling for a long term debt of about 5 billion dollars for at least the last decade so that is just a tip of the iceberg and it's actually coming to the public eye right now. Anyway this really sounds serious and Toys R Us is the biggest chain of US toy stores uh, right now and they are also a vendor for a number of companies including Lego so that means all those companies might lose a good outlet for the market reach. Even during this announcement the market share of some companies including Hasbro and Mattel has dropped on the stock exchange and that just tells how big of an impact Toys R Us has on the market. The company is not planning to close any stores anytime soon, they will wait for the holiday season and maybe evaluate the underperforming stores after that but for now all Toys R Us shops should remain open. Toys R Us is also known for having a lot of exclusive LEGO sets including their own Bricktober line, that's a minifigure pack that we are eagerly awaiting to get. And uh, speaking of LEGO itself, I'm not sure if that will really impact LEGO that hard because LEGO has their very own great line of stores for distribution and their own online shop. So if uh, anything's gonna happen worse for LEGO, they're gonna just lose a big vendor to cooperate with. This bombshell announcement came out just a days after LEGO announced their surprising drop in revenue and that actually I think tells the current state of the toy market which is struggling probably against the video game and maybe online entertainment services for kids. But with more positive news from the market, just after a few months of being placed number second, LEGO was placed number one on the RepTrack 100 survey. This is a survey run by the Reputation Institute and it is specifically measuring companies' reputation on corporate responsibility. LEGO has passed such giants as the Google or Apple and I think that is a well-deserved spot after all the company has done to the world market. That is also a very welcomed news just days after announcing the drop in revenue by the LEGO group. Moving on, we have LEGO set news. Wave 2 for the LEGO Ninja Go movie was announced and we have 4 sets incoming hot on this holiday season. We don't know the official pricing or pieces count yet, but the pictures are telling a lot. First one is the Garmadon's Volcano, set number 70631 for ages 8 to 14. That is a set that I was expecting to happen because I saw the names for it before and now it's official we're getting another building in the LEGO Ninja Go movie line. This one has 5 minifigures and a shark, a pretty cool looking building and I think the exclusive here is some sort of a technician with a huge grown bird and also a shark army officer with I think a new print for the torso. We also have the octopus guy, Garmadon and also Zane. The next set is Cole's Quake Mech, this one was long awaited and it is finally filling up the gap of the only missing Ninja Go team vehicle. The set number is 70632, it is for ages 9 to 14, we have 5 minifigures included, there is of course Zane and also the new guy that is a civilian TV announcer I think, also two Shark Army members and what seems to be Misako in her Ninja Go outfit. The set looks pretty good and big I think, everyone was wondering how is this guy standing on this one massive wheel, I think if you look closely there seems to be a Technic bar right behind the wheel that allows the mech to lean back and just support itself on this um, included bar. I am really waiting for this one and the next one is of a smaller size, probably a $20 set, that is 70629 Piranha Attack for ages 7 to 14 as well. We have 4 minifigures included, I think that is the same Misako that we had in the Quake Mech, also a build for a shark walker thingy, it looks pretty ridiculous but funny at the same time and I think what seems to be a rickshaw. We will have to see if this one's gonna be as good of a set for $20 as the Ninja Go City Chase. The last one that was announced so far, I'm really hoping we are getting more, is the Spinjitsu Masters Lloyd 70628. That is one of those Spinjitsu sets that you get a minifig and a spinner to make this guy fly. We had a line of those sets in the previous Ninja Go waves 
so I'm expecting this one to be similar. And speaking of all the Ninjago movie sets, the actual movie is being launched, well, today, that's right, as of the publishing of this video, that is September 22nd, 2017, the Ninjago movie should be available in a theater close to you. We have not seen the movie yet, even though we had the opportunity to go to an early screening, we did not go, we're just gonna see it as everyone else, and so far I think the reviews were not as crazy as for the Batman movie or for the Lego movie, that's the best one of course. I think this is still a good one, we'll have to see, I'm not gonna get biased or spoiled, I'm gonna see it and then we're gonna give you a proper uh, maybe look on what we think about the movie. But also if you want to have more fun with Ninjago characters and the Lego Ninjago movie craziness, you can go to Legoland California, the one in Del Mar, for Ninjago movie days, that is uh, September 23rd and 24th and Legoland California Resort is planning a lot of activities for all Ninjago fans. If you go to thebrickfan.com under one of the links below, you can find the schedule for all the events that are being prepared for all those ninjas out there, and I think that is a pretty cool concept. And well, Legoland is just known for having cool events. And if that was not enough for the LEGO Ninjago Movie craziness, you can get your merch for Ninjago Movie with your usual McDonald's Happy Meal. The items are available with your Happy Meals, or you can buy them individually for $1.99 each. The six items that you can collect include a Green Ninja Dragon Telescope, a Vimped Cup, a Play Camera, also a Play Selfie Phone, a Stationery, and also a thing that allows you to read the secret Ninjago language messages, that is the red tube thing visible on the screen. The last thing to mention about the Ninjago movie is about the game, the LEGO Ninjago movie video game, and a new feature was announced that is called the Enter the Dojo. This mode will allow you to perfect your skills while battling different classic Ninjago villains in some very um, known locations. I was uh, kind of thinking out loud to maybe actually try this game out, that would be the first LEGO game I would have ever played, and maybe we could stream that for you. That seems to be a good idea, but there are no promises yet. And as we are in the LEGO video game news, the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 game is getting closer to its release and more news are leaking through or just getting released about this upcoming game and now we have some new characters coming. The first character is Horus, we've seen him before but now we get a pretty crisp picture of how he's gonna look like. That is uh, his outfit from the Earth 9106 version and uh, well that's gonna be pretty cool to play with. And the other character is uh, the new Captain America 2099, this is the third character to join the 2099 Marvel Universe after Spider-Man and Goblin both from 2099. This might be actually another game we may try next to Ninjago Movie if we ever decide to stream some LEGO games for you guys. And now I think it's a good time to move to the LEGO Ideas section. If you for some reason don't know what LEGO Ideas is, there is a website by LEGO. When you submit your LEGO creations, then people vote for them and if your project gains 10,000 supporters, LEGO gets that into the review stage and then you may end up with your project being on the LEGO shelves. Right now in the ideas realm, the veteran Robin N seems to be dominating with one project on the shelves, that is the old fishing store, two projects in the review stage and one more being very close at 8600 supporters, that is his dive shop. And I can't help but I also noticed that a lot of recent projects are somewhat following the Robin Ant's line of success and people are trying to get those modular buildings out there. This one is also from a very well-known builder, that is Waimari Lego, and this is his bed and breakfast. And I think this one is of the same high quality as Robin Ant's builds and even matches the color combination with Robin Ant's lighthouse. If you see, this uh, pale blue color is all over the place. I think this old school style is very popular right now. Well, you can see the old fishing store is selling very well and I think this building would match the line if Lego has ever created a line of buildings from Robert Ann's designs, this one would be the next one to pick up, to just go with this old fishing wharf, old fishing town kind of, uh, you know, environment. I really love the way this set feels, it is uh, such a comfy warm feeling about this building that you just approach in the rain just to try to get some, you know, dry clothes and some fresh breakfast, I guess. The interiors tell that as well, a very comfy feeling here and I love uh, the fact how he used entire space of the building to create the shape and the every single room just has enough details to make it look really good. I think that I will just always support such sets because I really love the way people detail LEGO with uh, the limited amount of space they have. So from me, good luck Waimaru LEGO, I really hope to see this set somewhere down the line but I think that LEGO will still wait a bit before introducing such another building in their ideas line. Alright, and that is it for this week's news episode, but before we finish I want to talk about the first 
Brick Vault giveaway. That's right, we are giving away this set. That's the Creator Corner Deli 31050. Kind of a fun set. And what makes it special is that we actually signed the box. That's right, you can see it's not a fake. That's me and Jack signing, signing this box for you. So yeah, that's another incentive to join the giveaway. You can find the link below for Gleam.io giveaway uh, system and uh, just few ground rules can be found in the link as well. But first you have to be over 13 years of age and you have to be in the US. Um, we're not shipping internationally, unfortunately. So good luck guys, you have about seven days. We are accepting entries until September 29th, 2017. That's next Friday from this recording. Around uh, 2 p.m. we'll conclude all the entries. We're gonna contact the winner over email as soon as this is concluded and uh, well we'll see from there how it goes. That's the first one we're gonna ever do. Uh, well first one from the series hopefully we're gonna do it every so and then. So good luck guys and uh, enter the giveaway. Thanks so much for watching my name is Mike and I'll see you again on BrickVault.